How's it going everybody? Thanks for tuning in to the Mortgage Minute Monday. There's a lot of families right now that are refinancing and I asked three really important questions what they're gonna be doing with the extra savings. Do you plan on saving that extra money to use for emergency funds or maybe to pay off debt? Do you plan to invest that extra savings? Or do you plan on using that extra savings to pay down towards your principal loan balance? So let's go all three over those options, right? So let's say you're currently borrowing, you borrowed $350,000 from the bank last year and your interest rate was 4.25%. Let's say that you're refinancing today and you're gonna drop your rate from 4.25% to 2.99% for a $350,000 loan amount. That's a savings of $250 a month. If you're going to be planning on saving that, in 10 years, your savings account is going to have $30,000, right? That's a good safety net. Do you have that just as a protection? Do you want to pay off other debts, right? One option. The second option is, let's say that you plan to invest that $250 in the S&P 500. And let's say that annual interest rate every single year is 7%. So $250 you're investing in S&P every single month, Okay. In 10 years, that brokerage account is gonna be worth $45,000. That's an extra $15,000 in lend, just letting it sit in a low interest uh, savings account, okay? Second option. The third option is let's say that you wanted to use that extra $250 to pay down towards your principal loan balance. So let's say last year at 4.25%, right? 10 years from now, that loan balance would have $278,000. If you refinance data 2.99% and then you paid the extra $250 in 10 years, that principal loan balance is gonna be about $230. So that's a principal loan balance reduction of $50,000 on your mortgage in 10 years, right? So those are three really good things to talk about. I work with a really good financial advisor that can kind of really put you in a situation. A mortgage is just one part of the portfolio, guys, but it's my job to really have you guys borrow smarter and have that money work for you, right? We all wanna retire early. We all wanna spend time with our family, doing vacations. So those are three really good questions to ask yourself and really think about it, guys. In five, seven, 10 years from now, where do you see yourself being? And that really gives me as a, as a mortgage planner and kind of an idea on what I would suggest on, on building your portfolio as it relates to housing. Housing in the stock market, those are appreciating assets. Those are always good to invest in. If you have any questions on your specific needs, please reach out to me. Have a great day.